Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. I am so excited today because I am a part of a collaboration. It is called the Creative Friends Collaboration. And you wanna make sure after watching this video to click on the link below and watch all of the other amazing videos from all of my friends. What I'm trying to do is incorporate more of what I love, junk, in my home and in my garden. And that's kind of how my junk garden came about. It started with a few small projects and has really evolved. How did I get started with junk? My very first uh, junk hunting memories were when I was quite young and my parents would take me on road trips and I would stare out the window, except I wouldn't be staring out at landscapes. I would be looking at the side of the road, the area between the road and the grass where it meets up and I would be looking for treasures. I was positive that that's where I would be finding some good junk. But when I got older, I realized I could do my own junk hunting. And if there were curbside treasures, I had my own vehicle. And so that's how it all began. I began rescuing curbside treasures. And as a single mom and a full-time teacher on a limited budget, that was the best way to get really nice things for my home. It's amazing what people throw out. Let me just show you some of the curbside treasures that I have found over the years. I think you're gonna be amazed. I have a real passion for junk. The passion just grew the more that I continued to hunt and search for treasures. I began to have more items than my house could hold. And that's how my business, The Turned Leg, began. I now have a booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan, where I have treasures that I have found Sometimes when I'm finding curbside rescues, I can't save the whole piece, but I can save the hardware or the legs or parts of the trim. And I put those pieces into my booth so other people have them for their projects. But today, we're gonna go through the entire junk garden for a junk garden tour. As you walk out my back door of my house, this is the view of my deck and my garden. And of course, you'll notice my daughter, swimming pool, straight ahead. She loves the water but I've also added a lot of my junk treasures all the way through the garden and yard to personalize things. The seating on the deck are curbside treasures. That end table cable spool has been finished with DIY dark and decrepit and sealed with an outdoor sealer. The chairs are another project I hope to finish soon, but there's always projects in a junk garden. What began this whole junk garden this year was, of course, finding some curbside treasures. And it just seemed like the universe was deciding I needed to update my garden. The chairs I found fit perfectly in my fire pit area. The patio blocks for the patio were also found curbside. And if you take a look at the top of the fire pit, that's another one of the spindles where I use the top as a cover for the fire pit. One of my favorite areas in my garden is my covered porch, which is actually a covered porch off the side of my garage. The porch swing was my great grandmother's and above it is my no vacancy sign that I made from a repurposed headboard of a bed. I'll put a link to the video above. That primitive cabinet on my porch was also a part of my curbside rescue. All I did was clean it off a bit and then cover it with a clear outdoor sealer. I'll put a link to the outdoor sealer that I used in the description box below. Inside the cabinet, we keep the essential items for summer, you know, like sunscreen. I also hung some wooden shutters and added in a few vintage license plates for a pop of color. 
I think one of my favorite junk finds in my garden this year is this butcher's hook that I used to hang up a basket of coleus. I bought it at a garage sale so it wasn't free. I paid $5 for it. Are you enjoying this video? Make sure to give it a like and subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. It really helps me to grow my channel to continue to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. I also built this hanger from salvaged fence posts that I found. And wait till you see how I use the rest of the wood. This piece works great to dry towels and hold our goggles all summer long. Around the corner, I have an old garden chair and some frogs that I've found. These frogs on the wall I found out junking and I knew they had to be a part of my garden. I kind of love frogs. If you're just getting started in your own junk garden, a great way to start is with an old chair. A lot of chairs you find curbside have issues like the centers being broken out or they're not sturdy anymore, but they are the perfect chair to add to your garden. Around the corner is my brand new wheelbarrow garden from this year. I have an entire video showing you how I took an old wheelbarrow that I, of course, got junking and transformed it into a garden planner for my yard. Just click on the link above. I love old windows and I love to salvage them and make them into something new. I took this old window, added a little salt wash, DIY paint, and I made a window for my garden. I think everyone should have a garden window. Another favorite area in my garden is where I've added my new garden path using salvaged wood. This was how I used the rest of the wood that I found. And the best part was my daughter and my mom both helped me work on this project. I also love the junk that I added on each side of the path. It reminds me of all of my early days hunting for junk on the side of the road. To find out more information on how I built this path, just click on the link above. I also love this area of the garden because the flowers are so beautiful. One of the easiest projects that I did for my junk garden was to update this little bird feeder. Just added a little bit of DIY paint and stencils, and now it's so much more me. And if you really love junk like me, perhaps you want to become a part of my junk army. I am now selling junk army buttons on my website. And it's kind of like your secret decoder ring to show membership into my special society. If you're part of the junk army, you are constantly on the lookout for great treasures and items that can be saved and salvaged. If you'd like to join the junk army, make sure to hop over to my website, shoptheturnedleg.com, and grab yourself your very own button. They're $2.50 each with free shipping. The last part of my garden has a raised bed. I love to grow fresh vegetables. I've hung up a whole bunch of old garden tools, and I used an old wash tub to create an herb garden. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the garden tour. I also hope it inspired you to add a little bit more of what you love in your garden. Don't forget before you go to click on the link for all the other creatives below for the Creative Friends collaboration. I bet you're gonna find a whole bunch of new people to watch and subscribe to.